What's up everyone, Sean Kyle Blagrath here today with a concert review. Uh, this time I'm going to be reviewing a show that happened on Friday, May 20th at St. Vitus Bar in Brooklyn, New York. It was Weekend Nacho's final show in New York City with Afternoon Gentleman, Gets Worse, and Mother Brain. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to me that are not familiar with any of these bands, um, Grindcore and Power Violence essentially. Um, what it comes down to is uh, the Afternoon Gentleman and Mother Brain or Grindcore gets worse and Weekend Nachos are power violence. And for those of you that are subscribed to me, I don't know what power violence is. I'll just do a brief summary in my noobish ways because I'm not the most acquainted with the genre. Um, it's basically hardcore played with a Grindcore mindset. There's... It's hardcore on steroids. It's faster. It's heavier. It's it's just everything that I like about hardcore on steroids. So, um, yeah, that was a terrible description. I'm sorry. You probably got dumber from it. Just go listen to Weekend Nachos. Go listen to Gets Worse. Go listen to Phobia and uh, ACDC, ACXDC. Um, but anyways, so I went to the show. Um, I. W I gotta say, I did not expect to go to this. Um, at the beginning of the year, Weekend Nachos announced that they're breaking up and this is gonna be their final year as a band. And I was absolutely heartbroken because they're one of my favorite bands, period. Um, in fact, they're now the band that I own the most, like t shirts and uh, whatnot from. And I'm very close to completing their entire discography on vinyl. Um, so devastated to hear that they're breaking up and I was like I'm never gonna see them again and then my girlfriend surprised me with these tickets and the show sold out and I could and not be more thankful she's fucking amazing and there's actually a few stories that go along with her uh, coming up in this review um so we're gonna start off with the venue St. Vitus just a real quick rundown I love this place it was my first time there and uh I love this setup, uh, friendly staff, um, great sound. The sound guy there is excellent. I had no issues hearing anything at all, and I was in the front for majority of the show, and usually that's where you get like the worst sound is in the front row. And um, it was just, it sounded great. So uh, shout out to the sound guy. He does an excellent, excellent job. I saw some other videos of uh sets there uh including revenge and they sounded fucking massive from the video so i can only imagine what it was like in person so the sound guy great job to you um anyways uh let's get into this uh and also before i get started as well uh all the sets i'm going to be talking about will be in the description and you can watch them in full because pitfall of shit which is an excellent youtube channel um, I know that's not the name of the channel, but I know that's named the blog that the guy runs. Um, he filmed all these sets in their entirety, so definitely check them out. And the first band we're going to talk about is Mother Brain. Mother Brain is a grindcore band from Long Island, New York. They were the local opening band, so to speak, and they killed it. Uh, Three-piece grindcore, just guitars, drums, and vocals, and they were on point tight as fuck. Um, 20 minutes set roughly, just pure insanity. Their drummer is a fucking machine, I gotta say that. He, every single kick drum hit sounded massive thanks to the sound guy, and that added to the chaotic intensity. And the thing that drives me insane is poorly timed blast beats, and this dude has his blast beats down perfectly in time. So that they go in perfect sync with the uh, kick drum and the snare and whatnot. It sounded great. The vocalist has an awesome range, great stage presence. The guitarist had some killer riffs. Um, once also great stage presence. And I love the groove element that these guys had. It broke up the monotony of the blast beats and the typical grindcore set. And I was so impressed with them. I actually... Uh, Got this t-shirt with their logo. It says Mother Brain. And on the back, this is what sold me on the shirt. Business as usual. Fucking love that. Um, and I will also be linking uh, all these bands' uh, Facebook pages and whatnot. 
And I also picked up a 7 inch EP from them. This is Mother Brain's uh, Rise and Grind EP. Um, put out by Mannequin, Mannequin Ren. Never heard the label. Uh, sounds really, really good, actually. I was very impressed with the pressing quality of this. I listened to it before I uh, did this video, and it sounds excellent. Uh, Semi-translucent clear vinyl. Sleeve, uh, photo collage. Cool shit. Very old school looking. I love that. Um, this is an excellent EP. Definitely check it out and uh, support Mother Brain. Uh, up next at the show was Gets Worse. Uh, Gets Worse I was somewhat familiar with before. Um, power Violence Band from the UK. And um, they were absolutely intense live. Um, what was really impressive to me was the fact that their drummer was doing vocals while blasting, which is very impressive in itself, but the guitarist has these awesome highs. The uh, other guitarist, um, he was doing like very sparing backing vocals, but he had a very distinct voice from him and the drummer. The drummer has more of a traditional power violence sort of vocal, and um, it worked so well. And every song just really flowed into each other seamlessly and they didn't really take too many breaks in their set which i thought was extremely impressive considering the uh, pace that they were uh, playing at and the tempos they were playing at they were just a relentless band full of energy and if you ever get a chance to see them you have to see them they are so good um I wish they had merch because I would have definitely bought some stuff from them, but they had nothing with them. Um, so that kind of sucked, but they put on one hell of a set. And um, and this is the crazy part. So up next was the Afternoon Gentlemen. Now the Afternoon Gentlemen are my favorite grindcore band. I didn't realize this. Their drummer, the drummer from uh, Gets Worse is actually the vocalist in, week, in uh, the Afternoon Gentlemen. So, that means he did two sets back to back, and I gotta give him props for that, because I would die if I had to do drums and vocals and then go up and do vocals. That's insane. Um, but the Afternoon Gentlemen were so good. They were pretty much note for note from the record, and that is awesome. The intensity, the stage presence, the humor, all of that was there. And they're just a total blast to see live. They're, a, they're so much fun. If you get the chance to see them, you have to. I know a lot of people in the UK that are watching this have definitely seen them. But if you haven't seen them and you live elsewhere, you got to see them. They're absolutely incredible. And fun story, uh, this ring right here went flying off my hand. <laughs> during their set uh the pit got pretty uh crazy so this is going from like a review to kind of like a story time thing um so this guy he bumped into me and my girlfriend i go to shove him and when i shove him but i did a wimpy eh, with my hand and when i did the eh, my ring went fuck you and disappeared and i was like oh that sucks this thing's attached to me basically and um during the afternoon gentleman set, I pulled out my phone, looked around on the floor for it, and I couldn't find it. And everyone was super nice. And I gotta say this, uh, I do not know, did not catch the guy's name uh, that was in the pit that I actually pushed when I lost it. But he offered to stay after the show to help me find it, and that is absolutely fucking awesome. And everyone at the show was super polite and super kind. Um, it may have gotten violent at points, which I'll talk about uh coming up but it was really refreshing to see people actually wanting to help other people so uh to that guy if you see this thank you very much man um that was awesome of you um but yeah the crowd participation was great people were moshing having a great time to the afternoon gentlemen and um i was already as i said a big fan of them i they're my favorite grindcore band, so as soon as I got to the show, I had to get some merch. So I got uh, this awesome shirt, which is actually green, so that's refreshing for a change. I love that design. 
I got a uh, patch, which will probably be going onto a flannel, because I want to do a grindcore and power violence uh, flannel. I got the Grind in the Mind uh, 7 inch put out by uh, To Live a Lie. Comes with this very nice uh, lyric sheet, and the vinyl is pressed on. It's really weird. It's kind of marbled. It's really hard to see it, but yeah, you can kind of see it's marbled. Uh, this EP is fucking sick. Uh, grind in the Mind, uh, Mind on the Grind, and Still by the Still. Uh, all three songs are absolutely sick. I'd probably say uh, Still by the Still is my favorite. Also picked up, had to get this, the Afternoon Gentleman Pistography. Uh, it's basically a discography from 2008 to 2011. Uh, which is awesome that they did that, and um, I gotta say, this is a really nice package. I mean, kind of a flimsy jacket, but eh, it's a European press, which is very typical. Um, comes on uh, white vinyl. Uh, it, what's really nice is it came with this really cool lyric sheet, and it has all the... Uh, releases on there that all the songs are from with full lyrics which is really nice and then a collage of flyers of shows that they played and also came with this very cool poster which I'm definitely going to get framed at some point I love that uh, Power Jugal <laughs> oh I love that that's so sick I just love their whole drunkard get up sort of thing I guess you could say I don't know they're they're just a total blast to see um, if you get the chance to see the afternoon gentlemen definitely do so you'll see when you check out the video fucking great um, this is the self-titled full length this is I believe their second full length because there's I want to make sure I get this right power juggle power juggle Pogger Violence is the name of their first album, which is a 10-inch, which is so hard to find. I would love to get a copy of that, but this is their uh, self-titled. I love the back where it's uh, mirror-imaged. Gatefold has some crazy artwork. You get a printed inner sleeve. Full lyrics. White vinyl, and I really like this, so it's instead of side A and side B, it's uh, tin side and tab side. So the tin side, so that, which looks to me like an ashtray, so I guess in England they're called tins. And then the tab, it's like a beer can. That's, that's so fucking cool. I just love little details like that. Um, but this album is so good. The production on it is just absolutely unbelievable if you're a fan of grindcore and power violence and you haven't heard this there is a major major problem because uh, this is fucking sick i cannot recommend this enough you got to listen to the whole thing in fact um i'll link their facebook page along with their band camp where you can uh, listen to this it is some excellent shit and then finally the band i came to see for the most part, I came for the Afternoon Gentleman as well, and they killed it. Weekend Nachos. Weekend Nachos are one of the most intense bands I've ever seen, and I would say this is probably the craziest show I have ever been to. Um, my God. From the very beginning of their set, and they opened with Hometown Hero, and they ended their set with um, Jock Power Violence, um, for the that 40 minutes, essentially, I believe it was about 40 minutes, they were just non-stop intensity. Such a massive sound for only having one guitar. The bass tone, the guitar tones, are so thick and just absolutely massive. It's overwhelming. And John Hoffman's stage presence and vocal abilities are just fucking phenomenal and their drummer is extremely extremely fast very talented on point he is just tight with everything that's happening and it makes the experience that much better 
Um, what was great about them, and this is what I really love about weekend nachos, is John would just literally hand the mic to people in the crowd. So, like, if you knew the lyrics and you just took the mic from him, he would just be like, go ahead. And he actually didn't do vocals for the last song, which was pretty cool. Uh, the entire crowd went up on stage for the most part. A good portion of it went up on stage and did vocals for it. Uh, stage dives, like crazy hardcore dancing. People were just getting moshed on like you wouldn't believe. Um, I lost my shoe at one point, which I was able to get back. And my glasses went just flying like that. And uh, I was up in the front, and they went up on the stage, and I was like, oh, shit, they're going to get crushed from the stage divers. John's going back and forth like crazy. Um, my girlfriend saw what happened, and she grabbed me and literally like pushed me from the front and pushed me behind her, and she shoved her way to the front, and she saw him. And she held these like this and leaned over the stage, holding on to these for dear life. And she saved my ass. Um, now, after all that, <laughs> she wanted to have a few words with me for being a dumbass for wearing the ring to the show and wearing my glasses. My defense, I've never had any issues with wearing my ring at a show or wearing my glasses at a show. Um, I usually don't wear them when I'm on stage, but that's for obvious reasons of sweat, lose the ring, and glasses. I, What's the point of wearing them when you're on stage? Um, so in my defense, you know, never had it happen before, but to her I was a dumbass, and she's right. Um, but as she is yelling at me, this dude at the bar overheard us talking about the ring, and he's like, did you guys lose a ring? And we both went at the same time. Yes. <laughs> and the dude's like, my buddy found it, and he has it, so it's all right. He goes, let's just watch the show, enjoy it, and uh, he'll be back at, you know, at the bar, and we'll get the ring back. So I go use the bathroom. Sadly, I missed shot in the head, but it sounded sick. Um, and I came back out, and, um, God, the dude comes back and that had the ring. And he's like, oh, I gave it to the bartender. I tell the bartender what it looks like. He gives me the ring back. I got it. My girlfriend takes my ring, takes my glasses, and tells me to go back out. <laughs> so I went back out and got mosh on. Uh, shoved around, hit in the stomach a few times, and it was the greatest experience of my life at a hardcore show. I absolutely loved every second of it. When they played Scab, the entire place erupted. I have never seen anything quite like that, especially for the uh, breakdown at the end. That was so awesome. Um, just every single song they played was perfect and it was awesome for him to go out on this kind of note in New York um and I gotta say too I got to speak with all the members after the show and they were incredibly nice and incredibly humble and uh it makes me respect them that much more um but anyways for the merch I picked up I got this uh Sun parody shirt Nacho <laughs> and as soon as I saw it I had to get it and I also got this I Ignore You shirt, which is great. And what I, I got this for the guitarist of my band, my buddy Justin. Uh, the new album Apology on CD. Uh, he's not a vinyl collector. Uh, this is actually, I didn't know this. If I wouldn't known this, I would have bought a copy for myself. It's actually the uh, Japanese press. It even has the uh, price in yen on it, which is... Really cool, but whatever, he'll appreciate it. And I got the LP version, and I'm going to tell you this right now, I'm doing a review of this. I've spun this about three times. I came home today at 3 o'clock in the afternoon or so. I put this on, and it is currently 1 in the morning. I'm running off of two hours of sleep, so this video sucks. That's why I've been up since 5 30 in the morning um but i spun this about seven times and it's so fucking good um and one more thing i gotta point out too about weekend nacho set that i loved not even really their set the backdrop banner 
It wasn't even a banner. They took a Jägermeister flag and flipped it upside down, painted the Weekend Nachos logo over it, but you could still see part of the Jägermeister logo. Yeah, it's got the deer head with the cross upside down, and they just wrote in Sharpie, goodbye. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. But, uh, center labels. And it's on, uh, white vinyl. And I didn't expect this, which was awesome. Um, came with a booklet, which is fucking sick. Um, I love when LPs come with booklets. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'll do that for the review. Um, but if you haven't seen Weekend Nachos and, uh, they're coming to your area, um, for the U.S. it looks pretty, uh, sparse. They're doing, uh, Rainfest in Tacoma, Washington, uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Today's the 25th and it's the 26th, um, with, uh, Black Breath, and then on June 1st, uh, they're going to be, no, July? Yeah, July. Uh, first, they're going to be doing the uh, Apology release show, which is weird because Apology came out the day of the show. Um, but they're doing the release show in Chicago, so and that will be it for the U.S. Uh, they're doing Temples Fest in Bristol. Um, then they got a U.K. tour with Wormrot and the Afternoon Gentleman. And if you miss that show and you're over in Europe and or the UK, if you're looking uh, any of the countries that are listed on the Facebook page and you miss it, you're fucking up because that was seriously one of the best shows I've ever seen. Uh, so that's my review and story that I had. Um, nothing too serious, but I, I sincerely encourage all of you to check out these bands. Links are going to be in the description to their sets from that night along with um, their Facebooks and uh, band camps if possible. So um, that's about it. Um, yeah, look forward to the uh, apology review and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing and as always, keep it metal.